Hi friends, today in this episode I will show you 5 species of Dracaena. They belong to the family Asparagaceae and genus Dracaena. There are hundreds and thousands of species you will find under a genus. Classification is a vast chapter consisting phylum, class, order, family, genus and species. Anyways, let's be simple. How will we manage to grow these plants? As I show you the plants, the name will be provided on your screen. These are all Dracaena plants but different species. All the plants have the same characteristic features. Friends, all of them are with me last 6 to 7 years. They are so easy growing that anybody can grow in their garden, either terrace or ground. All of them can grow indoor as well outdoor in the sun. I have the Sandiriana species on my backyard under whole day sun with no care and it has grown to a height of 10 feet. Friends have a look, both the leaves have similar leaf texture and shape, only the color stripe is different. Previously I supposed that the color difference was due to sunlight but then I found that both are different variants. It's raining and raining in our region. Just now I showered all my plants with rain water. I preserve rain water for the garden. Let me tell you, here almost 95% house have iron shed above their terrace due to all year rain. If you do not cut the stem, the plant will grow high as much it can. No side branches grow until you give a cut. There will be a new stem growth if you cut the stem and you can make the plant much more bushy. This particular plant has made a height of 9 feet approximately. There are many more pots of Dracaena and sometimes I donate and even throw away the stem cutting when they form a forest in my terrace. This is the third variety, Dracaena fragrance. There has grown an inflorescence and some buds. Maybe flowers will bloom. I don't know. I have never seen flower in this plant. Maybe I did not cut the stem. The plant is growing for years. For Dracaena plant, use any kind of soil mixed with little river sand and little compost. Whatever soil you have, only make sure you have a good drainage hole. You can add fertilizer if you wish. This is the fourth species, Dracaena derimensis. I like this variety. I like its texture and color stripe. This variety is a bit delicate and slow growth. Let me tell you friends, I study my plants a lot. I have a strong bond with them. All that I share is what I experience through the life cycle of the plants. The best part of Dracaena plant is, you don't have to worry about watering the plant, shower the plant as much you like and on the other hand, if you miss one day to water, the plant will not show any symptom. This is the fifth and last variety that I have in my garden, Dracaena cincta. This plant has three colors on its leaves. Under bright light and good rain shower, the plant shows its beauty. Sometimes the leaves burn if under harsh sunlight, but if you can water and shower the plant and keep it moist, it will tolerate the sunlight. All the tall Dracaena plants are tied with the pool. Every year, March, April, we have storm and somehow I maintain the pots from breakage. Still this year, I lost 5 to 6 pots. The good part of Dracaena is, you don't have to worry about propagation. New plant develop beside the mother plant and also you can grow through cuttings. 100% cuttings will survive, not a single will die. Right here you can see the new baby growth beside the mother plant. My daughter told me, if there are buds, surely flowers will bloom. Have patience mom, we will have flowers on this plant. And I am here after 15 days. Friends, you won't believe, lovely fragrant flowers, exactly the tuberose Rajinigandha smell. Have you ever seen flowers on Dracaena? I haven't seen. This is for the first time and I'm very happy. Usually, no pest attack to these plants. But friends, do not wait for the infestation. Apply neem oil mixed with soap water every after 15 days. Plants like hibiscus and porcelain are prone to millibug attack but not in this case. So friends, hope this episode on Dracaena has helped you and will help you in growing the plant in your garden. Give a try. All of them are very very easy growing, no care needed. So that's all friends, stay connected with Garden Hill, lots more coming up. Bye friends, thanks for watching, subscribe to my channel and much love from Garden Hill. Bye bye.